part of your journey should you shine a spotlight on that will give you more credibility with your audience and make them feel more connected to you? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A couple of days ago, I was having a conversation with one of my fellow coaches, Jennifer. She was telling me about an event she had attended recently where a speaker stood up and basically pounded his chest and told everybody how great he was, his process, how it was the best in the world, how it was even better than a world champion speaker that was presenting at the same event. She said, Michael, I had such a distaste for this man because not only was he trying to disparage a fellow speaker who's better than him, but he was just constantly talking about how great he was and putting himself on a pedestal. That word pedestal reminded me of a piece of wisdom that Jennifer and I had gotten from our mentor, Craig. He once told us, always put the process, not the person, on a pedestal. What that refers to is putting a spotlight on the step-by-step -step processes or tools or devices that you're sharing with the audience. For example, when I talk about storytelling or I teach people storytelling skills, I focus on the seven sensational C's to storytelling. The process is what should get the focus. This is what people want to take away. Far too many speakers replace themselves instead of the process. And if you're presenting that way, what does the audience take away? Yeah, they'll remember you. Maybe they'll remember your story, but they've got nothing tangible to use. They may even think, well, if that was great for that speaker. She's special. I could never do that. And that is opposite of what you want them to think. I've said this before in this video series. Never be special from your audience. Be similar to them. Share your struggles, your strife, and setbacks, as we talked about in the last video, and then put your process. What did you learn? What step-by-step -step tools can you share with them that have helped you succeed? And if you think there's a huge benefit to talking about all your success and accomplishment and telling people how great you are, think about the negative tone that my friend Jennifer had and her feelings about that speaker who did just that. An important side note to this story is that Jennifer lives in Australia. She was able to contact me not long after seeing this presentation. Negative word of mouth can spread very quickly in today's world. Don't try to rise above your audience. Be just like them and give them useful tools they can use and you will shine. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.